five. Okay, only a five second delay. That's not bad. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the stream. Uh, we switched over from PS4 Bloodborne to uh, Xbox Mass Effect. Uh, just so my PS4 controller could charge. Because it was starting to run low as well. Uh, if you'll remember last time, we sent out some stuff, like a warning signal for the Alliance, a bureaucracy stuff, a smear campaign against an evil politician, and then our just reward for the Eclipse. So, let's see what happened there. Success! The police quietly slip you a cut from their raid on the Red Sand Factory. Nice. Smear campaign. Success! The politician retires from public service after your smear campaign. Failure. Soja Foundation's antibiotic tests have been blocked by Citadel legislation. Oh, that's a shame. Success! Admiral Hackett and the 5th Fleet have ambushed the colony raiding pirates. Oh, we got this. Citadel news agencies are trying to place more reporters in the terminus systems. Use your resources to set up these journalists with safe houses and reliable contacts, so they can bring back news to the galaxy's frontier. Yes. The Blue Suns are becoming dangerously powerful. Run a galaxy-wide expose on their corruption and tendency to turn on their employers. It will send business to their competitors. There you go. Mutually assured income. Clashes between countries on the Batarian homeworld of Karshan are becoming frequent. Make sure no nation-state gains more control than the others by regulating weapon sales to all sides. Chemical Warfare. Binary Helix is trying to develop home run implants for Alliance soldiers that fall outside the Cit Citadel's generic treaty laws. The company is prepared to be very generous if you let them know when the Citadel inspectors are coming. Uh, sure, why not? Got anything else? How Liara? are you doing, Liara? I'm a bit overwhelmed, to be honest. The Shadow Broker had more resources than you can imagine. Here, come on over. He had top-level access to the Turian and Asari governments. And more than one Solarian Dalatros traded intel. And now it's ours. If you're in over your head, we could just crash this thing and walk away. That's just it. In a way, I feel like I belong here. Working on my own, I was always hunting for leads. With the Shadow Broker's resources, it's about Organizing, cataloging. I've got everything, Shepard. This is a dream job. Although, the location could be better. Yeah, the location could be better, but, you know, such is life. Have what you have you got? Have you found anything useful yet? The Shadow Broker knew about the Reapers. Perhaps that's why he offered to help prove Saren's guilt to the Council. He didn't want Saren to succeed. He knew you weren't lying about your visions of the Prothean Beacon. There's even some data on the Protheans. I think he knew what was coming and was looking for a way to survive. Okay. Time with Prothean data. Why was he still looking at Protheans? They gave us the warning in the conduit at Ilos, but we've used those. The Shadow Broker seemed to think there was more out there. Perhaps the Protheans had other plans. Or maybe he was just grasping at anything that offered some hope. Okay. How's fair? Well, what's this Shadow Broker species? I didn't know what the Shadow Broker was. I didn't. I had no idea what to expect when we finally found him. But I researched pre-space flight cultures during some of my Prothean studies. I know a bit about the Yogg. There's more on the terminals if you want to look. They're a fascinating culture, and a terrifying one. What about Farron? As well as you'd expect, after two years of intermittent torture. He gonna be okay? I don't know. He wants to work, so I'm letting him help. Maybe it takes his mind off it. Uh, 
Well, it's it's really nothing like Fallout 4. Um, I mean, there's talking in it, but that's that's really it. Are you two together? So, you and Farron, we're just friends. Commander, are you jealous? If you're concerned, maybe you should do something about it. Um, you nope, know, not I concerned. Down here just to talk about data. I know. We have some unfinished business. But just because we were together before, I miss you. But it's been two years. I don't want to put pressure on you. Uh. Yeah. Then let's okay. be friends. Let's give it some time then. For now, what if you came back to the Normandy for a drink? I'd like that. Good. Let's go. Get your things and come on up. Okay, thanks. I'll be right there. Just give me a minute. She's died. Did you enjoy the tour? Yes, it's a beautiful ship, and I ran into Joker. He seemed happy to see me. Although he did ask if you and I would be acting out scenes from some vid called Vanya. Of course he did. I also spoke with Dr. Chalkwaz. I'm glad she's doing well. I brought you something. It took some digging, but I recovered your tags. My old dog tags. Thank you. I thought I'd never see these again. They changed hands more than once. Do you remember Admiral Hackett? He gave them to me so I could return them to you. He sends his best and hopes you're okay. So how are you doing, Shepard? I mean, really. Not what you tell your squad to keep morale up. I'm frustrated. Honestly, I'm tired. Tired of dealing with Cerberus. Tired of the Council ignoring me. Tired of my closest friends not believing me. Yes, I heard about what Caden said on Horizon. I'm sorry. But their short-sightedness doesn't diminish what you've accomplished. There wouldn't be a man, woman, or child left on Horizon. If not for you. It was a damn setup. You know the worst part of it? Cerberus planted intel to lure the Collectors there. Horizon was bait. Those bastards. They'd have hit another world if we hadn't lured them there, but... Aren't you gonna tell me not to work with them? I gave them your body, remember? What should I say? And I trust you. You'll stick to your beliefs no matter what Cerberus wants. So tell me what you want. What are you fighting for? Survival? <laughs> it's not what I'm fighting for. It's what I'm fighting against. The Reapers? Everything. The galaxy. Mercs, Geth, Varen, Thresher Maws. Some days it's like the whole damn galaxy's trying to kill me. It should have picked an easier fight. I should get back to my base, but thanks for inviting me up, Shepard. Bye, Liara. Come back soon. Yeah, Liara, Liara is, a, is a good girl. She's uh, she's usually my romance go-to for the first game, because if you play a female, you get Caden or Liara. If you play a male, you get Ashley or Liara. 
So usually everyone goes with the alien chick who's got a decent character instead of the boring humans. Commander, you've received uh, a new message at your private terminal. Thank you, Kelly. Hey, do you want to go up to my room? How may I help you, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Command. Okay. God damn it. Maybe we'll talk later. How's the how's Is the Is there crew? anything I should you know? You have unread Grunt seems unread very anxious, messages. pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? Okay. It's always nice okay, chatting with you. Okay, let's go. We'll talk to Grunt. Uh, since you haven't played uh, Mass Effect games before, let me introduce you to the crew. This here is Warden Solus. He's a Solarian. Still need to get to Tuchanka, Shepard. My students being held by Blood Pack. I'll talk to you later, Warden. Yep. We'll be here if and you he, need me. He talks faster than anyone I've ever met in my life. Um, he's a Solarian. They have very short lifespans, and they're more focused on intelligence, espionage, and things like that. Oh, open the damn door. This is Boring Human Jacob. He's just the boring human that follows orders. Nobody likes him. Everybody, however. Aw, thank you for the host. Thank you for the host, darling. Here's Joker. Commander, I assume everything's going well up He's here? He's voiced by Seth Green. Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Seth Green voices him, and he is a great character. He's the funnest character in the series. I love talking with him. <laughs> Alright. And we'll go talk with the rest of the crew, because why the fuck not? Grunt Since you haven't met anyone... Thank you, Kelly. I will definitely go check on Grunt. Now we are missing a squad member, but we're going to get them next. That is our next uh, objective, is recruiting her. Funnily enough... Yeah, yeah, Joker, Joker's a bit more than just a pilot, What's though. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo. That's Edie. That's, That's all our for artificial now. intelligence. You we talk, talk to her. Hey, is that Time Edie? for another lesson. Sure. Tough fight on Horizon. I fought slavers and kidnapping rings, but nothing like that. Some slavers took a little girl on a colony in the Skepsis system. Girl woke up, fought her way out, got picked up by my band well on her way to Omega. Eight years old. She'd have had no chance on Horizon. Hmm. Uh, that was Zaid. He's a DLC character. He's great. He's a surly old bastard with a past. And he's just great. Okay. That's a loaded question. <laughs> uh, general basic, basic story I can give for the second game? You are a, you are Commander Shepard last hero of humanity um, hero of the citadel and uh, basically the most famous person in the galaxy um, you're also a specter basically a specter is appointed by the citadel council to basically watch over the entire galaxy and fight away now at the start of this game your ship got blown up obliterated and you died uh, you were killed by I think by a, a alien race called the Collectors. What they do is they go around the galaxy trading, usually for slaves or things like that. Um, well, at least we're assuming that's that. And um, a group called Cerberus, who was your enemy in the first game uh, for some missions, uh, basically they're a terrorist group uh, for their ant for pro-human, so they believe humanity above all else. Um, they found your body they resurrected you and now you are given a mission by them to stop the collectors so that's what we're going that's what we're doing we're building up a team to go fight an alien race that blew us up and steals people from the galaxy that's 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 basically the plot as basic as I can give with no other explanations. <laughs> Um, 
that is a loaded question. What's the story? Um, but yeah, it's great. It's a very story-based game. Um, every crew member has a story. Every story has a reason. Oh, listen. If you if you if you think that's interesting, uh, you can always check out my YouTube channel. Um, I have Mass Effect One on there, and uh, basically that'll catch you up because I give explanations of everything along the way of what things are and all that. Um, also, I if you want, roughly we have all of, we have all of these that we can read tell you about literally everything in the universe uh, that would take about six hours to, to do uh, but I definitely can do that um, but yeah this is Jack she's great she was a biotic uh she was a biotic uh, child, basically, who got kidnapped by Cerberus, experimented on, and um, we broke her out of prison and added her to our group. She's great. I need to get to Pragya, Shepard. Soon. Oh, I'll think about right. that. Meanwhile, I have to go. Yep. Her normal outfit, like before DLCs added new outfits for her, um... Her entire outfit was just consisted of belts. She had belts covering, uh, like a belt strip covering her boobs. Uh, that's all she wore. <laughs> uh, I had a deal. I have a DLC pack that turns into like a badass biker chick. So I went with that. Hi guys. What can we do for you? This Come is on. Ken. Uh, Ken's great. Carry on. Will do, Commander. That's Gabby. They are... It's never been made official that they're lovers, but in my head they're married. Because they bicker like old married couples. But they're great. And now, that's all of the humans on this ship. Uh, aside from one. But we're going to meet Grunt. Grunt's a Krogan. And he's beefy as fuck. Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual. Like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. Why do that? What's wrong? I will not tolerate outbursts on my ship. Get a hold of yourself. I'm trying. When we're moving, fighting, there's no problem. But here, my blood makes noise. It's screaming. I've got no pass to leave me. The tank gave nothing about itching plates and losing control. Don't know if I can help, Grunt. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Chanka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Yep. Been drinking. I've been drinking. Bear with me. <laughs> No worries. I, uh, I may have, uh, had a little smoke break in between the streams. Because <laughs> normally I'd be able to just delve into everything about this game, um, with no problem. But yes, he did act in Gold Wars 2. Um, I forget his name, however. He's just Grunt. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, I have my very own pen that, uh, helps me with stuff. Hello, Samara. Samara's an Asari. Asari, Jill, Asari, like Liara, are, um, they are an all-female all race. Um, 
they are pure biotic specialists. Um, they're able to use what I like to dub Mass Effect's version of the Force, which is uh, element zero um, made into powers. Um, they are they were the first race to actually get spacefaring and discover the Citadel. Um, Oh yeah, uh, they reproduce uh, by mating with other species, and actually an Asari and a sorry pairing is considered bad, uh, pure blood. Um, pure bloods are looked down upon because they don't spread the genetic vision of the Asari, um, because Asari need other people's genes to reproduce and things like that, and. Uh, Basically, they like taking the best of both worlds. Um, how else? What's what else is um, pertinent? Uh, oh yeah, they're also extremely long-lived. Uh, the Asari are the longest species to live, aside from the Krogan. The, I know the Asari and the Krogan have uh, centuries-old lifespans. They they can live for a thousand years or more. So. Yeah, they're very... The Asari are also very ph philosophical, whereas the Krogan, like Grunt, are beat everything down. Kill, kill, kill. Um, and that's most of the... Most of the, most of the Krogan. Except for a couple. But yeah, here's Samara. Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty rate. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? It is a deeply personal matter. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. Tell me about your This code, code of the Justicar seems central to your life. It is 5,000 sutras and covers every situation one can encounter. I have memorized every word. There is only the code. Sometimes justice calls for mercy. It does not exist to bring about spiritual enlightenment. Its purpose is to punish the wicked and protect the innocent. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of grey everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant. In your medieval lore. Perhaps mixed with a bit of samurai. One sec, guys. I was hearing some kind of ringing from my uh, stairs. Killing. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. You know about knights errant and samurai? 
When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. I should go. I'm glad we spoke. So am I, Samara. So am I. Uh, who's on the port? Ah, Kasumi. I forgot Kasumi was on the ship. Hey! She's great. Got a minute? Sure, Kasumi. Liara Tassoni's got quite a reputation. I've done business with her people before. I hear you and she were an item before. I bet it was hard running into her again after all this time. Yeah, Kasumi is a master thief. She is amazing. Zaid strolling around like he owns the place. But he seems a little confused. Twenty years of seeking revenge, and now it's over. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. Not much call for thievery aboard a ship. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Okay, Kasumi. Uh, let's go meet Thane. Do you need something? Thane is a Drell. They live on the Hanar homeworld because their homeworld was destroyed. Um, he's a very holy uh, assassin. Um, who prays to the gods before to, to his gods. Uh, before each kill. So he's he's great. Um, he's also diagnosed with Keppel Syndrome, which basically means he's got water in his lungs that is stopping him from breathing normally. So he's dying. Um, Have a few minutes but, to talk? Yeah. Certainly. You're not a typical assassin. If you don't mind my saying, you don't really seem like an assassin. You've spent too much time fighting thugs who think custom-painted armor makes them professionals. The Hanar trained my body for this role since I was six years old. You've been killing since you were six? Of course not. I didn't make my first kill until I was twelve. They were training me. I was not to be used and thrown away. I was an investment. You were a child, not an investment. I've given you the wrong idea. They valued me, yes, as a resource, but also as a person. They regretted their need for me. The Hanar? Excessively polite, worshipped Protheans? They don't seem the type who train assassins. Every species trains assassins. The Hanar are only unusual in that they need other species to do the killing for them. They have a strong grip and natural toxins, but... Have you ever seen one move quickly outside of water? Or fire a gun? No, what did your parents Why did your do? parents agree to this? The agreement was made under the Compact. It was an honor for our family. The Compact? We live on the Hanar homeworld because they rescued us. Some of us from extinction. We owe them our lives. That is the Compact. What exactly are the terms of the Compact? There are many things the Hanar can't do, even with mechanical aid. They ask Drell to assist them. The way you describe it, the Hanar sound like weaklings. Out here, they are. But if you could see them in the encompassing, the oceans of Kaje, you would see them differently. A stream of silver in the dark, looping, diving. So fast the eye can't follow. Laughter like the squeals of a child vibrates the water. They fly over the black of the seabed like birds, plumed with the light of heaven. This can't be legal. 
They made your whole race into slaves. Don't insult me, Shepard. Anyone can refuse to serve. Few do. We owe our existence to the Hanar. We are proud to repay the debt. Why was your race going extinct? Overpopulation. That must sound trite to you. Humans developed mass effect drive before the problem became acute. Our homeworld, Rakana, had few resources. We hadn't even developed fusion power when the soil began to fail from overuse and pollution. The Hanar found us a century ago. They sent hundreds of ships, evacuated thousands of us. Billions more had to be left behind. What's the state of Rakana now? Do you read your philosophers? A man named Thomas Hobbes. When all the world is overcharged with inhabitants, then the last remedy of all is war, which provideth for every man by victory or death. As Rakana died around them, my people slaughtered each other for mouthfuls of water, crumbs of food. But you don't kill for the Hanar anymore. You're freelance. What changed? I was asleep for a long time, yes. I paid no attention to what my body was asked to do, but then... Laser dot trembles on the skull. One finger twitch, he dies. Then, the smell of spice on the spring wind. Sunset-colored eyes defiant in the scope. The laser dances away. My apologies. Drells slip into memory so easily. Was that one of your assassinations? Uh, yes. Perhaps we can discuss it later. I've wasted too much of your time. Thank you, Thane. Talk to you later. Here's Miranda. Cerberus's cheerleader. Uh, basically, she loves Cerberus and will do anything for them. Uh, she's boring as hell. But she has a nice ass. That's really all she's got going for her. There's the janitor. And the cook. And the maintenance man. And everything else. He does everything. And this here. This guy. This is my romance for the game. Shepard. Hello, Garrus. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Of course. Garrus is a Turian, but he's amazing. Yeah, I I do it just because I can't really deal with the world sometimes. Hello, Dr. Shockwell. How may I help you, Commander? She's the ship's doctor. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. And she is amazing. Probably one of my favorite characters. I've shown all the armors that I have uh, at the moment, so let's uh, make sure we're done. Customize the gear. We'll do the archive visor, but everything else can be Kestrel. Because the Kestrel stuff is great. Also make it shiny. I can change its color. This one's gonna have to change to that. I could just change it, but yeah, I'll do that. 
There we go. Yeah, the world is definitely fucked up. Um, however, yes, every single NPC in this game has just something about them that makes them amazing. In my opinion, Mass Effect 2 has the best characters of any video game ever. No messages for you, Commander. You changed my life from Jeert. Greetings, Commander Shepard. The art Sony gave me your contact information. I was one of the cleaning crew in the Dante's Towers. You helped me get out of there. According to Sony, you also found Thane. You took down some of the Eclipse Mercs trying to get us down, and I wondered if you could pass along my thanks. The way he moved, one was dead before they even knew he was there. He snapped another's neck and then shot a third, all in the space of a few heartbeats. It was incredible. He moved like a dancer, grace and power in constant motion. Seeing him changed my life. Woke up something in me I don't fully understand yet. I don't know what I'm going to do, but Selene is too short to waste his custodians, especially when there's so much else out there. I'm going to find something that lets me capture what I saw in him. That beauty, that aesthetic perfection. I'm also going to buy some nice clothes. If you could tell him that, or just whatever parts of that you think appropriate, I'd appreciate it. Sincerely, Jeet. You're welcome, Jeet. Alright. Anomalies. We're just going to search for anomalies. Because we haven't done that for a while, so might as well. That should be it. Yeah, there we go. Oh. Interesting. You will let one have capacity. Thank you, Eli. I didn't need that reminder. All right. No anomalies. Help Jacob recruit Tally. Help Jack. Go to the Kurgan DMC. That would be good. Also. Oh, Miranda. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and recruit Tally. Yeah, it's absolutely great. Tally will be with you shortly. Right now. Right now we deal with Carl. Uh yum. Wow, system. Which I can almost guarantee has a anomaly moment. Maybe? Nope. Actually, what's my scan? What am I? Oh my god, I'm so low. Okay, let's go recruit Tally. Dun dun dun. Yeah, they traditionally have strong shields and low health. Prepare accordingly. Alright, let's take Garrus and hmm. 
Harrison Morton. Don't need a level, but you need a level. Concussive Blast. And Heavy Incinerate. I can also do Incineration Blast, but Heavy Incinerate works best. I need one more level. I'll have Slam. Shepard, our data indicates the tally is somewhere in these ruins. There is considerable geth activity and an environmental hazard. Solar output has overwhelmed Hastrum's protective magnetosphere. Exposure to direct sunlight will damage your shields. Thank you, Edie. Uh, I'm having serious issues with my shields. Need to avoid sunlight. Keep to shaded areas. Come on, you two. I'm just gonna let yourself die. Okay. That's fair. There you go. Kill us lie. Poor Corian. Incoming dropship. Enemies ahead. <clears throat> oh. Ah, uh, the gift.
This is Commander Shepard of the Normandy. I'm afraid I don't see any Quarian survivors here. of your team. How many of you are left? We're a small squad. Dozen Marines plus the science team. We're down to half strength now. Made the synthetic bastards pay for it, though. What brought you this deep into Geth-controlled space? You're asking the wrong person, Shepard. I just point and shoot. Something about the sun. It's going bad faster than it should. Some kind of energy problem. Any idea where the Geth came from? One of the patrol ships found us. Drop ships started raining Geth down on our heads before we could get off the world. Systems under Geth control. We knew they made planetary sweeps. Do we have to worry about the guests sending in reinforcements? I don't think so. Their patrol ship hasn't lifted off again. The radiation blocks all off-world communication. What's your current position? We're bunkered down at base camp across the valley. I left Tally Zora at a secure shelter, then doubled back to all the choke point. Getting Tally out safely is our top priority. If you can extract her, we'll keep him off you. You're gonna throw your life away for research? Negative. I give my life for the migrant fleet, all the difference in the world. I'm no tech expert, Shepard. I'm a Marine. They tell me to shoot. I shoot. They said to protect Tally and the data. You get him out safe. I've done my job. You got confirmation that the Geth haven't reached Tally yet? Affirmative. Left my best men with her. When you get here, you can talk to her on the comm. Every Marine on this rock is sworn to protect Tally Zora. As long as one of us is still drawing air, she'll be safe. Hold position. We'll hit their back ranks. Wait! Watch your ass! We got a dropship coming in! Well, so much fat, no reinforcements.
Should slow him down. Yeah. We're taking too much fire. We head to the Large impact radius. Ding. Take that. Wall safe. They're two words you don't expect to hear together. Colony is deep in death territory. Why would coins come here now? Beep. Now then. Let's get rid of this bullshit. Tully's ordered to base camp. Come in base camp. We'll talk to you in a second. Hold on. Of course. Understood. Tully's order to base camp. Come in, base camp. Hey, Tally. Hello? Is anyone there? Tally, it's Shepard. Shepard? I'm not complaining, but you show up at the strangest times. What are you doing in the middle of Get Space? I was in the neighborhood. I thought you might need a hand. Thanks for coming, Shepard. It means a lot to hear your voice. Carl Rieger and what's left of the Marines got me into the observatory. From where you are, it's through the door and across the field. I got the data I needed and I'm safe for now, but I've got a lot of Geth outside. What is this research you're after? It's about this world's sun. It's aging faster than it should. I can tell you more about it once we've got fewer Geth shooting at us. Is anyone else still with you, or are you alone out there? Rieger had a team of Marines covering me when I ran for the observatory. At least some of them are still alive. I can hear them firing at the Geth outside. Would it help if I brought in the Normandy? Doubtful. These buildings are centuries old. If you bring down heavy fire, this whole place could collapse on us. It looks like somebody sealed the door against the Geth, and the console's damaged. Can you get it open on your end? Uh, let me see. Yes, I can do it. Here. Should be unlocked now. Be careful, Shepard, and please, do what you can to keep Rieger alive. 
I will try, Tally. No promises, but I'll try. We've been spotted. Inbound. Over here! Get to cover! Quad leader Cal Rieger, migrant fleet marines. We talked on the radio before that dropship arrived. I still got no idea why you're here. This ain't the time to be picky. Tally's inside over there. Geth killed the rest of my squad, and they're trying to get to her. Best I've been able to do is draw their attention. How many Geth are out there? The Geth are near platoon strength, but the Colossus is the worst part. It's got a repair protocol. Huddles up and fixes itself. I can't get a clear shot while it's down like that. I tried to move in closer, and one of the bastards punched a shot clean through my suit. How bad is your suit damage? Combat seals clamp down to isolate contamination, and I'm swimming in antibiotics. The Geth might get me, but I'm not gonna die from an infection in the middle of a battle that's just insulting. What can you tell me about the battlefield? Right side's got a catwalk with a sniper perch. You could wreak some havoc from there, but none of my men made it past the get. Middle's got cover, but the damn Colossus has a clear shot at you the whole time, and you've got Geth coming in from both sides. The left gives you some cover from the Colossus, but your ass is hanging out for the Geth. That's how I got shot. Any ideas on how to deal with the Colossus? Standard protocol with armature class units is to sabotage the shields and whittle it down, you know? Kill it with bug bites. But the repair protocol blows that plan to hell. You try to wear it down, it just huddles up and fixes itself. So whatever we do, has to scrap that bastard fast. Probably means getting up close, past that cover. We need to get to Tally. Got any ideas? Just one. I'm not moving so well, but I can still pull a trigger. And I got a rocket launcher that the sun hasn't fried yet. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop its shields. With luck, you'll be able to finish it off. You've done enough, Rieger. You don't need to throw your life away. 
Wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. I'm not gonna stand there while you run into enemy fire. They killed my whole squad. And if you want to honor your squad, watch my back. I need you here in case they bring reinforcements. All right, Shepard. We'll do it your way. Hit them for me. Keep us alive. Incoming. Oh! oh. Ooh. No. Just the thing to help. Ah. Take the right. Always go the right side. Scratch one! You die. Son of a bitch. Try again. After this mission, I'm probably gonna go to bed. I'm tired. And I've been streaming for almost three. Well, over three hours now. You move in close. I'll keep the Colossus busy. Maybe even drop it. You've shield. done enough, Rieger. I wasn't asking your permission. My job is to keep Tally safe. <sighs> We don't have enough people on our side for you to take one for the team. Stand down. Heads up! Ah. Out of our way. Ah. Ah. shield. Ah. Oh, boy. Oh. Ah.
I'm on it. Of course. Simple enough. Understood. Thank you, Shepard. If not for you, I would never have made it out of this room. This whole mission has been a disaster. I wish I'd joined you back on Freedom's Progress, but I couldn't let anyone take my place on something this risky. A lot of Quarians lost their lives here. Was it worth it? I don't know, Shepard. It wasn't my call. The Admiralty Board believed the information here was worth sacrificing all our lives for. I have to believe that they know what's best. I didn't ask what some admiral thought. I asked what you thought. A lot of people died here. Some of them were my friends. All of them were good at their jobs. That damn data better be worth it. The price was too high. What can you tell me about your research here? Haystrom's sun is destabilizing. Back when this was a Quarian colony, it was a normal star. It shouldn't change that quickly. Any idea what's destabilizing the sun? If I had to guess, I'd say that it was dark energy affecting the interior of the star. The effect is similar to when stars blow off mass to enter a red giant phase. But Haystrom's sun is far too young for this to be natural. Whatever the reason, I'm glad I could help. Once you deliver that data, I could use you on the Normandy. I promised to see this mission through. I did. I can leave with you and send the data to the fleet. And if the Admirals have a problem with it, they can go to hell. I just watched the rest of my team die. Maybe not the whole rest of your team, ma'am. Rieger, you made it. Your old captain's as good as you said. Damn Colossus never stood a chance. If need be, the Normandy can get you out of here, Rieger. Well, the Geth didn't damage our ship. As long as we get out of here before reinforcements show up, we'll be fine. Actually, I won't be going with you. I'm joining Commander Shepard. I'll pass the data to the Admiralty Board and let them know what happened. She's all yours now, Shepard. Keep her safe. Thank you. Yep. There we go. Oh. And with that, I'll be heading to bed. Ah. Uh... Well, we got a little bit left, but I'm going to bed. Server saw this footage of you in action, Tally Zora. We're looking forward to having you on the team. Your engineering expertise will really benefit the mission. I don't know who you are, but Cerberus threatened the security of the migrant fleet. Don't make nice. That's why you're here, Tally. I need people who aren't Cerberus. People I can trust. I wasn't part of what happened to the migrant fleet, but I understand your distrust. I hope we'll get past that as we work together. I assumed that you were undercover, Shepard. Maybe even planning to blow Cerberus up. If that's the case, I'll loan you a grenade. Otherwise, I'm here for you, not for them. If it helps, check out the Normandy while you're here. We've gotten a few upgrades. I'll get Tally Zora the necessary security clearance to access our systems. Please do. I can't be part of your team if I don't know how the ship works. Remember, Shepard, these people thought enslaving Thorian creepers and Rachni was a good idea. I'll be in engineering. Don't forget to introduce yourself to Edie, the ship's new artificial intelligence.
Yeah, Jacob, shut up. <laughs> Pistol damage. There we go. A wonderful chat with your friend Tally. She's not what I expected from her psych report. I like her. Tally's a good friend. We've been through a lot together. Chlorians are so fascinating to me, but they also make me a little sad. Why do they make you sad? Their environment suits are so beautiful, but with their immune systems, they're trapped inside. I wonder what they look like under those helmets, or what their skin feels like under those suits. Are you attracted to other species? Well, Part of my job is predicting the motives and feelings of humans and aliens. Intimacy brings understanding. And passion is nice wherever you find it. Character matters, not race or gender. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need any. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thank you. Tunes. What the hell kind of game are you playing, Shepard? Here's the buddy acting I had the gun on that Cerberus scientist telling me you understood. Now I find out you're working for Cerberus? Just so done on me that you can't even imagine. For years, Cerberus did them. They tortured me. They used me as a damn lab rat, and now you're teaming up with them like you're any other merc band? I've got my own merc team now, Shepard. And I kill any Cerberus team I can find. If I run into you, don't expect any different. Admiralty Board from the Magamon Fleet. Commander Shepard, per Talizorovat's name is requesting Clint. Included with her data delivery from Haystrom, the Almighty Board has approved to transfer to your command. She has been informed that additional duties to the Magnet Fleet may still be necessary on occasion, but has been given extended leeway to determine when her mission with you is considered complete. This choice was hers, but your role as a de facto captain during her pilgrimage may have caused her to be more susceptible to your requests. The Almighty Board trusts that you will treat your new crew member with the respect to an honored member of the fleet. Should any harm come to her due to negligence on your part, this board will take severe and appropriate action. Admiral Zael Zora. Migrant Fleet Admiral Chief Board. Ding. We got one last person to talk to, and then, uh, then we're headed off for the night. So I'm starting to get a headache. This sucks. It's great to see Tali on board, Commander, just like old times. It is her, right? I mean,. Because with the mask, it's... Ah, never mind. I assume everything's going well up here? Good for now. Fractured That's my That's it for now. See ya, Commander. See ya, Joker. Alright. I hope everyone has a wonderful night. Uh, I will stream more tomorrow when I wake up. But for now, this is Zero, signing off. Peace.